All right. Hello, everyone. I am Andy, and I have Dexter with me here, and Ryan. And we are gonna do a best of three in DuckTales. Um, I don't. I think I'm. Can't remember. I've been in a situation with a best of. I mean, situation like this before the marathon, but. Uh, I, I can say that the initial reason is because we, we submitted this as a four-way race. Um, Gerardes and Hyrex and sadly couldn't be here. So, but we had a time slot basically, so we changed into a best of three format. So, yeah, um, I don't think I should talk too much. Anyone want to in introduce themselves more or? Uh, I've got nothing to say. <laughs> nothing to say, nothing to say, okay. <laughs> So, oh, well, we're gonna be like yeah. DuckTales, and I, I believe the incentive for Difficult was not met. Uh, thank you so much for donating for it. Part yeah. of me kind of... L a bit happy that it wasn't met, because it's, <laughs> it's a I'll, tiny bit I'll, I'll difficult, start. so... <laughs> I am just gonna refresh it one last time and make sure that we are uh, correct on that. And no, unfortunately, it was not met. But thank you all so much for all of the donations going towards that incentive. Yeah, that was A for effort, guys. Anyway. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna start from the stage select screen actually. Um, I don't. Yeah. <coughs> so and uh, Dexter will explain some things about the run as we go, but we're gonna start in three. Uh, you start both timers, Dexter. I thought it was only one button. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You ready, Ryan? Three, two, one, go. All right. As you see, they're starting off with the moon stage here, and uh, I'm guessing it's more of a habit because they do it during um, attempts and all that. And you can see directly, they don't go into the UFO here. No, we're gonna go straight to the end here, pretty much. So they're gonna pretty much use a damage boost here so they can clip down to the, the rat cave, pretty much. And they both did it perfectly. So... I think Ryan went for the faster version too. I, I shaved yeah. out a little bit there. <laughs> So depending on when you enter the rat cave, he can give you certain different patterns and there are hundreds and hundreds of patterns pretty much that you pretty much can't predetermine. So, but they put it, pulled it off and it was really good. Yeah, my pattern was slightly more lucky mm. than Ryan's, but uh, that is the way it is in DuckTales. Yes. Uh, <laughs> when you put in I mean, attempts in this, it's a very reset heavy run. And uh, there's a lot of boss, boss RNG in this run. Mm. Uh, and everything is basically has to go perfectly for yeah. to be able to have a really good time. So. so we're into the Amazon now. So we might see some different uh, approaches to the first screen here, but it's basically the same in time-wise. And uh, we'll see if they're gonna go for the the B Pago here. And I believe Andy did it, which is really hard to pull off. Actually, it doesn't save that much time. And another important skip coming up here. Oh. And they both got it. That's really, really, really good. Because <laughs> if you end up missing that, you will start all the way over to the beginning of the stage and you will lose up to roughly 40 seconds or something yeah. like that. And the payoff is great, right? You save a full one and a half seconds yeah, exactly. you get it. So perfectly <laughs> marathon safe and viable. So we saw Ryan had a little bit of issue there because he didn't get uh, clipping into the box uh, early enough. So we had to use a backup. And. Uh, Oh. into this uh, stone statue, so to speak. And you can see how the movement that they do when they try to pogo into the enemies. So they kind of want to pogo um, during their iframes when Scrooge is kind of like on descending approach and neutral jumping. Scrooge doesn't have any hitbox. He won't take any damage. So you can just keep on pogoing while he descends and just do the damage like the frame after yeah. the iframes. You're invincible as long as you yeah. can touch left or right. Mm. So, but it's, it's very difficult to pull off because you ha have to anticipate the boss movements yes. as well. Um, the, the second boss we just faced, he has um, many different patterns, but they're all manageable, so you can adjust to them. Mm. Unlike the rat where you can, I mean, you basically can't hit the rat, for instance, in mm. some situations. And talking about RNG, this, yes. this, this boss fight here is fun. Magica the spell. This can be a run killer for sure. So we'll see what patterns and he gets here. We want low or middle, and we got a middle, that's perfect. That's pretty much what you want during a run, and we got a low pattern, and okay. Ryan got a low pattern also, that's really good. Middle pattern from Ryan, and Andy's done there, and yeah. Ryan is <laughs> done also really, really good, because if, if you get the high pattern on Magicka, 
it's you can hit her, but you only have like a couple of frames when she does like the, this wavy pattern, yeah. and you can only hit her when she's on the low pattern. And it's basically impossible to get five straight hits in yeah. without losing time. Yeah. So it's um. So yeah. Yeah. On on yeah on, onward to the mine stage. It, nothing real to talk about here, so you can go on with the donation here. Sure thing. We have a few um, messages here. We got ten dollars from Etho saying cool event, and we also got ten dollars from Krill Cross saying so good to see you back on the big stage, Andy. Hmm. Um, and uh, both of those went towards the uh, difficult mode, but unfortunately we didn't meet that. But thank you so much for those two uh, donations. We also have a $100 donation from Ska, <laughs> saying, simply saying, I'm rooting for whoever wins. Oh, no. Unfortunately, that was not put towards an incentive. I just want to remind everybody that on the right side on the donation screen, there is an incentive. And for example, you could uh, put that money towards the language choice for our next run, that is Ratchet and Clank and G Plus Race. Uh, and make, uh, make sure you figure out which language you want them to run in. All right, thank All you right. very much. So in the mine, th th yeah. there's not much to talk about in the mines. Uh, it's really the most boring stage in the game. It's, well, I mean, you can hit the edge somewhere or something and lose a couple of frames, but it's... Yeah. I mean, if, if you notice on the boss fight on the mine stage, you, you can probably see how they were doing really late hits. Yeah. And that's pretty much so you can uh, cancel out an animation. Yeah, Yeah, um, that's the only time save in the actual stage, yeah. more or less. Uh, you hit the boss as late as possible in this transformation, and it actually makes this transformation faster. I mean, he's rolling things. So yeah. you save actually a full half second uh, by doing four late hits on him. You can see here also in the cavern, you, you can see them doing um, just walking on the ice and that's because they get the extra speed from the ice so they want to keep uh, walking on the yeah. floor as much as possible on the ice as much as possible so on to the yeti fight here on Indy. so we'll see how that goes should be fine because yeah we got a good pattern there but it's good health wise also yeah. and yet is down and ryan looking really good also yep perfect yes. perfect well done. Yeah, the, the boss is after, after you are done with Magicka, there's no RNG in the, the mine fight or the, the Yeti fight, so it's kind of a, a, a bit less tense, at mm. least on the last run. But we have some nice RNG coming up here in the yes. final stage, though. Yes, final stage, and we're back to Transylvania, and uh, we're gonna go meet up with Dakula. Mm -hmm. And there are oh some wow. interesting patterns you, you can get there, so it could change up the race here. Tiny bit, so we'll see what patterns we get. Yeah, and what what we want to look out for here in the very he he, he takes um, 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 how many hits does he take? Five hits, Five like hits, yeah. like <laughs> any boss, uh, and he's gonna spawn on different locations. And in the le in the final spawn, we want him to spawn on one of the further right spawns. It's a forty percent chance basically to have a good spawn. That one, that's one, one the final yeah. one. Uh, because then we can perform a really difficult trick. So let's see if I get it. If he gives me the chance. Ah, oh. he didn't. So he sadly did a, did a boring spawn yeah. for me, so I couldn't let's do it. On, yeah, no. Ryan got left spawn also, so not being able to. Pull. Time is coming up, Dexter. Oh, oh sorry. There we go. Well done. Oh, okay. That was really good. Really good. That was two solid runs, I would say. There was a bit of... I don't know exactly where we where we split apart a bit, but... I don't remember either. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was a good race, so... Yeah, we, I mean, we got to see really good, two good, really good hell skips. Really <laughs> important part, we got yeah. two good uh, magic fights and... Um, so let's see if we can do it again. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we're starting from the same situation again. Uh, yeah, just waiting for the splits to reset here. Yeah, and this time I'm 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 not gonna do the safe. Oh, yes, yeah, I did the safe moves. Okay, all right. Oh, oh no! I'm waiting for the timer to reset. Ah, I see, I see. While we are waiting for that, I'm just gonna read out a uh, short little message by a JJN EMJ who's donating hundred and fifty dollars, which is very very generous. Simply saying, go Andy. 
And uh, you sure are going right now with that first victory. Well thank done you. on that. Yeah. Thank you very much, and also thank you for all the prior donations and breaks mm. as well. Yep. Amazing. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Um, the timers? Are yeah, still the timer. Yeah. I mean, if you have one more donation, you can read that too. Uh, I currently do not, mm. but again, I just want to remind everybody to put those donations toward uh, some of the in incentives we have. Later on tonight, we also have Paulister, who is running the pedestrian. Um, where we have a $500 incentive to have him eat some uh, hot sauce live on stream and uh, try to not break a sweat okay. during the run. Yeah, and uh, I definitely want to see that. So uh, if you also want to see that, make sure to uh, put some money towards that. All right. All right. Seems it like looks the timers are back. Yeah. So, so we're, like gonna we're ready. I'm going to count us down again, Ryan. You sure? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Right, back, back to the moon stage. The moon stage. Yeah, everyone's favorite music. I was gonna say, sadly, it's the music we get to hear the least. So, yeah, turn around, go get the key and the remote control instead. Do it the normal way. Just do it. Okay, okay. Maybe, <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe next. Next time. time. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Ryan got the backup. Really good. Nice. That's great. Uh, this is a. This is. It would be sad. I mean, it's it's a very. It's not an easy trick. And if you miss it, you lose a big chunk of time unless you get a backup. So it's I'm I'm happy we both managed to get through. The rat is being fairly kind to me as. Yeah, on, on this boss particularly, you can see how they just do no neutral jumps all the time and uh, like really timing the the hits with the rat when yeah. screwed the sense. So. Okay, so we're going back to Amazon again for the for the nice one and a half second time save. That's the most scary part about this stage, I would yeah. say. It's always, it's, it's never fun to die and lose 45 <laughs> seconds. <so>. No. <laughs> <laughs> In some stages there are checkpoints. But th th this, this is the reason, oh, and then, well, not the hill skip, but a big reason that uh, difficult is... Um, Wait, sorry. Thank you. Um, oh. Difficult is a such hard incentive uh, or um, hard category is because you only have free health. Um, in a perfect world, uh, you never lose, you, you never need more than free health. But in a marathon run, I mean, if you take a single hit somewhere, or especially like in the Magicka fight or something, it can turn real ugly real fast. And if you die in on a boss fight, for instance, it's a huge time loss because you have to redo most of the level. So in a one versus one scenario, I'm, I'm actually happy we're not doing it on difficult. In a four plane scenario, there's still you know, potential for comebacks and, uh, you know, everyone has to give their hardest because there's so many people chasing them. But in a one versus one scenario, you can kind of like safe it out a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, this is close. Close. You both went for the B skips, even though you said you wouldn't. No, that was <laughs> the, the B skip. I was not going to go for the B skip <laughs> if it was difficult. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Because yeah. then it's not worth mm, risking yeah, yeah, yeah. one health over. All right, let's see what magic at the spell has in store for us. I got oh, sub pixel okay. again. Yeah. Makes room for Ryan to catch up a little bit here. Yeah. Oh wow, I missed the jump there too. I'm ah, I'm letting this slip out. I just I I mean I just manipulated the magic at the spell pattern. That's what I was <laughs> my 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 strat. Okay, let's go. Let's Oh, wow. Okay, low pattern. Low pattern. Two low patterns. Excellent. Yeah, she has six potential different starting patterns. Oh, you b b b bad woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> nice. <sighs> okay. I guess I, c I can't be too unhappy with that, <laughs> though, right? I mean, for the <laughs> this is basically neck to neck. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. now you get to see the high pattern, how really hard it is to hit her. Yeah. Well, thankfully she did come down eventually. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so now we're past most of the heavy RNG spots, so this is gonna get interesting. Okay, oh. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a buffer you, you can do there entering the mirror. So if you jump, jumping, well, when you jump into the mirror and then 
uh, buffer the pogo, you can start a pogo directly. Yeah. After um, exactly. re-entering yeah. that room. Yeah. Yeah, entering. you automatically start it when entering, which yeah. saves you a little time. Oh, you can potentially make, I mean, do like double frame perfect jumps or something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, the buffer helps a lot. It does, and I got, I fell down in the pit of despair. Shout out to Perio. So now here on this fight, you, you can see when they try to hit the boss as late as possible before he starts rolling. That's it's, just it's to save those extra missed. frames. Yeah, because if the, if they miss the last frame, you will miss a cycle of uh, damage, and that costs like four seconds or something. Well, you can see Ryan probably did some kind of um, damage boost strat there. Yep, though. that is um, a quite new find, and you know Ryan is much younger than me, so he. <laughs> He is mu do much more modern stuff. I'm an old dinosaur in this game, been playing it since like 10 years or something, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, what we didn't mention, well, that's more your territory, but there, there's a despawn you can do on this stage here mm -hmm. when you go down to the ice cave. There is, there's a hockey player down here in the ice cave. Uh, wait, sorry. Yep. That hockey player that was there, um, you can actually throw a very many different things. You can make him despawn, but it requires setups from all the way from the mine stage, killing certain enemies at certain spots, getting a few drops randomly, and uh, it's a weird. And you basically end up saving almost no time, <laughs> so <laughs> you're, we're probably not gonna see it. Yeah, we saw on Ryan's screen that he had a slight problem with the, the hockey player there. He got the damage booted backwards, so lost just a tiny bit of time there. Mm. But anything, uh, actually, a bad a bad final spawn on Dracula is the difference here. Basically. Yes. So, or, or a task bat might be able to save it. So this is far from over. Ooh, okay. Some pixel this time. It's gonna be quiet here, it's so tense. So tense. Yeah, the time saves in this is all about the small things in the stages, like the mm. you don't want to hit any edges, you don't need to drop off the ropes as quick as possible. I mean there's it all this this um, this run is down to the frames basically when it comes to record potential. All right, what to get here? No! no! I missed oh. it. I sadly missed it. Yeah, he, g he got the, the oh, right oh, fell down. the right pattern. I did. Yeah. That was one of the two possible patterns. Time. Oh, that was a. Did <laughs> right? Thank you. That was that wow. was a really close race. Really good. Really good. Yeah, I mean, wow, for this, I mean, all the, all, the, all the race times were, wow, they were really, I mean, considering the amount of RNG in the boss fights, this, mm. I mean, in a marathon setting, these are really solid times. What was my time? 7.18, 7 that can't be right. Um, it's hard to see. 7.17, yeah. 17. Yeah, might be a low 17, yeah. And yeah. 18. And, and, this, and yeah. this time was 7.17 and Ryan's time was 7.18. So yeah. a very, very close yeah, race. Very, very close race. Which is just mind-boggling to me. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sad we didn't get to see a third one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would have liked to play one more because... That's I think we have time for a third one just to see if uh, Ryan could get a little bit of uh, redemption. Do you want to do one more, Ryan? Do oh. we want to see another run? Oh, yeah. Of course we want. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then we need to... Uh, All right. I can see uh, the, we're, the timer. We're ready to go direct there. So, I'm. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm yeah. Are you ready, Ryan? <laughs> I am ready. Kay. All right. Let's Three, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going for the third time, and we get some nice moon music. This moon music is so it, lovely. It's too good. It's too good. It's too good. The problem is when you have played this game like. 30,000 times. 
you kind of get ti tired of the first 23 seconds of the song. <laughs> because <laughs> 23 seconds is what it <sighs> takes to... Ryan had some issue oh. there, but he got like the second backup. Okay, that was the second backup? Yeah. <laughs> the one from above? I mean, when he dropped down? Uh, he, he had to damage boot twice okay. before he got down, so yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's also a reason why it's a good thing we didn't play on difficult mode, because then he would be dead. Then he would have been dead and <laughs> so sent back to the start, and that's a third. That would have been a race over, yeah. basically. So, yeah. Oof. <laughs> but yeah, as you saw, the magic of the spell, I think. Uh, well, first, we had the Halo skip coming up here again, which is... If we go, if we both go free for free, I mean, that, that is... Um, I mean, I'm not going to jinx it, obviously. Shoutouts to Purio for actually finding the non-stop version, uh, the RTA non-stop version in the screen, many years ago. Oh, <gasps> ooh, ooh, okay, that was interesting. Mm -hmm. That's why you don't go for the depot girl. <laughs> Easy. Easy every time. Easy every time. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's actually the, the thing is with this game it's really wonky when you grab and release the, the ropes because you can't use a diagonal input when releasing the rope like I have to hold the d-pad straight right here mm. a natural movement would like to be to do it diagonally in many games but it doesn't work here so grabbing the rope you need to you know grab it and then shift your movement and release it and I maybe shouldn't talk during this boss fight um, but yeah oh man all right, Ryan hashed up a little bit there, so... Okay. Remind me to... Well, this is the final race, but yeah. remind me not to talk through the next part. Okay. okay. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Magic at the spell will give Ryan a full high pattern. Uh, so, I mean, she has <laughs> six potential different starting patterns. So, like, if you imagine, a, like, a world record grind on this game. First, you have that rat, which has, like, 25 billion and a half patterns. And then the statue fight is fine, but then Magicka has six, six different variations. And basically you have to take a shot for what you will get. So you just go for the fastest potential and just pray, basically. Mm. And you have a time now of yeah, 7 my, oh Yeah, my, my record is 707.95. Yeah, so doing attempts is pretty much a nightmare. Doing attempts is a nightmare. I yeah. will never do attempts again if I really don't have to. Which is the sum of beat it. Uh, which. The oh no, we you got don't! <laughs> we got okay. two high patterns. <laughs> I got her on the high one. <laughs> Stupid. Lovely lady. Okay, <laughs> we have the mind, sta <laughs> mind stage coming up, so we can so have a donation. Yeah, we can do some donations, yeah. <laughs> sure thing. We have Jodo with a $100 donation. Whoa! Saying thanks, USA and NES Legends. Thank you so much for that generosity. We also have $5 from Anonymous with no comment, but putting that $5 towards the Ratchet & Clank NG Plus language choice, picking German for the language choice, um, making German in the lead, or putting German in the lead with those $5, uh, which makes it very easy to change that. So if you want Ratchet and Clank to be ran in a different language choice, maybe English or uh, French, could be, uh, you, yeah, just put $5 or $10 towards that, and you uh, have some influence there. Ah, sehr gut, ja. Ende <laughs> Germany, <laughs> my new nickname. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, shout out to Prissy for teaching me yeah. <laughs> German. So we can see on Ryan's screen here, he's taking a damage and then uh, it buffers pretty much a full pogo and yeah. it gets like a perfect last frame hit. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's it's hard to learn, you know, old dogs, new habits. I mean, it's like I, 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 I have a kind of a visual cue that I go for that it's been working for me for 67 years! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, if I would try the damage boost, I probably would screw it up somehow, I don't know. I, I don't think you can screw it up, but I probably could, so... I'm just doing my... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, on this ice part, you really want to like really cut the corners there on the, the small blocks there just to get the whole the speed through the whole screen pretty much. So it's kind of tight actually, those small jumps that you have to do. Yeah, let's try to, if I get the correct pattern, let's go for a, try for a task strat here. Ooh. I didn't get the... Ah, okay, I missed it, <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, you can actually do a frame perfect. Um, usually, you could see me when I pogo the snow right there. You can see Scrooge getting stuck in the snow and looking looking very miserable. Um, but he doesn't look as miserable if you do a f um, if you hit um, down B, which is the pogo, on the very last frame possible frame before he enters the snow. You can actually pogo on the snow, which is of course not intended. So there's a task rat which involves um, like. Three frame perfect snow pogos, plus you need to time it correctly. Then you can actually, if you do all those things, and if you fail it, you, it usually means you lose like a just couple of seconds. But if you get it, you save a, like a full point, point two seconds, I think. So it's like, yeah, worth it. Worth it. Or <laughs> after all the RNG is done, you <laughs> miss the third frame perfect badly. Uh, but uh, it's very small time save, but it's it's one of the few potential, I mean, time saves left in the game, I would say, that, mm. that is yeah. RTA viable. I mean, it's possible to do, but it's just really, really, really hard. And having it on a run where it would make any difference is even harder, of course. And then you still need the correct pattern here at the end, so... Oh, wait. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Not cooperating. Let's see on right now. We got a left spawn there also. Yeah. Duckladuck is not. He doesn't want to have it today, but it's it's okay. It's okay because we still have two another another two solid runs here. I would say. So time. You <laughs> did, Ryan. Really good races. Indeed. That was. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. That was that was really good. I mean, the, there was there was no there were no deaths. We didn't have any, you know, weird major mishaps, and that was just solid. I mean, so that 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 could have gone either way. But yeah, three solid races getting. For, I mean, the hell skips. Just, yeah, just that is. Um, and no one really got stuck on the moon either. So I mean, that's, that too. that's, yeah, that's yeah. great. So yeah, I want to thank Dexter for the excellent commentary. I want to thank Ryan for the competition, both in uh, Ducktales, and Batman, and some other games. Really good, new generation runner. You should follow him. And uh, I want to thank the entire crew behind me as well. Great people all around. And I want to thank ESA as well, of course, and everyone in the chat. So, thank you very much. Thank and, uh, you for that uh, amazing showcase. Yeah, yeah, we'll catch you guys tomorrow on stream two with Gremlins 2, if you want to see a train wreck run. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing. And uh, yeah, once again, really amazing uh, showcase here and uh, even though it was a 3-0 uh, victory for Andy it was very close races and I guess that just goes to show that if you run the same game for 40,000 attempts you get a bit of an advantage. Uh, before Indeed. we end off I want uh, to read out a last donation again from JJ and EMJ with another very generous $100 donation <laughs> saying I wish we could be there Andy Gamal er elst. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. With that, we're going to uh, take a short a break. Let's give it one more big round of applause for Andy and Ryan. <laughs> and we will be back shortly.